plus one times by everything. So you're going to do 2x plus one times by five, and then times by six, and times by three. How would you know this in the exam? What's the first thing you realise about this what? equation? There's an algebraic fraction equation. So, so slowly. It's an algebraic fraction equation. Al algebraic. 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 What did she what? say initially? She said algebraic. Algebraic, right. You know, it's coming on YouTube. <laughs> it is not algebraic, it is algebraic. Okay, algebra. There's no such thing as algebra in, uh, in mathematics. Anyhow, it is algebraic fraction. You remember what a solve means? Yeah. What does that mean? Find out what x is. Find the unknown. And unknown is? x. It seems slightly difficult. But if you follow simple principles, it's a bit long-winded, but be, have a structured approach, you should be fine. How do we add fractions? The denominator has, the to, be denominator the has to be the same. Correct. So we could make the denominator the same and express it algebraically. Uh, another way is um, we could try to get rid of the denominator by applying the inverse, inverse rule. Thank you. So how do we do that, firstly? What do we do? Times it by everything. Oh, see, again, you're using the term, you time, you times it by everything. What does that mean? We times 2x plus 1. Hmm. What do you want to get rid of first? 2x, the 2x plus 1 expression or the x plus 1? The 2x plus 1. Right. How do I do that? The one you say it. 2x plus 1 times 5. In okay. Then times that by six. Then what do I do? Times that by six. Six times what? Two x plus one. Equals? Three times two x plus one. Good. <laughs> now, what's the next step? Then we start cancelling the stuff out and times it. So 2x plus 1 under 2x plus 1, that cancels out. So it's just, it's just left with 5 plus yep. 12x. Right, you're expanding the bracket now. Okay, expand. Keyword. Expand the bracket. You got 12x. Yep. 6. Yep. x plus 1. Equals to? 6x plus 3. Expand again. Good. So next step. And then we do the same again. We do x plus 1, and then we times that by 5. Then so we're trying to get rid of the x plus 1 term. And we multiply every other term with x plus 1, including this one. So 5 times x plus 1. All of it. x plus 1 plus. Do we need to bother writing it, or can we just cancel it out here? And we can just cancel it out. Okay, l l let's write it for the because to have a consistency. I'm putting and then twelve x plus six. Yes, that times that, isn't it? Yeah. All of that times all of that over okay. equals to six x plus three. Six x plus three times x plus one. So then Good. Those two cancel out. What cancels out? Good. Now, what do we do? We, we expand. Oops. 5x plus 5 plus 12x plus 6 equals 6x squared. Ah. What's the method for us to do this? Oh, grid method. Well done. Grid method. Oh, that's long. So, it might be long. So, you can just do it mentally. I know. But sometimes people get it wrong, so I'm going to teach them grid method, especially when you have negative terms. So I got 6x here, 3 here, multiplied with, what goes there? S. And then? One. Right, so. 6x squared, 3x. 6x X squared. 3x. Yeah. 6x. 6x. Well done. So how do I simplify that now? Um, 3x and 6x, that equals 9x. Plus 9x. Plus 
Okay. So that will equal to. Good. Then what do I do? We collect like terms again. So 12x plus 5x, that's going to give you 17x. So be careful of the sign. 12x plus 5x gives you? 17x. And then plus 11. Plus 11. Plus 5 plus 6 equals to? 6x squared, squared plus 9 plus 3. Now what do you notice right now at this stage? Um, that it is a quadratic. Therefore, we have to make it a zero. Equal Good. Time. So, in order to solve a quadratic equation, we need, need to make we a equal to zero. How do we solve quadratic equation? How do we solve quadratic equation? It does equal to zero um, after we rearrange. But how do we solve quadratic equation? Putting it in two brackets. What, what, what do you call that? Factorize. Good. We factorize it. But before we can factorize, we have to put the terms in one side and make the quadratic equation equal to zero. So how do we do that? Minus 17x. Minus 17x. So I've got, change the color. So I've got here, that cancels out. So 11 equals to 6x squared plus 9x plus 3 minus 17x. Right, so we need to simplify now. Um, or maybe. 9x minus 17x is what? Minus 8x. So 11 equals to 6x squared minus 8x. And then? Plus 3. Finally, we need to get rid of the 11 minus 11 both side. We can simplify it straight away. That cancels out. So that's 0. 6x squared minus 8x. Minus 8. Our A is 6. B is? Minus, minus 8. C is? Minus 8. So we're going to factorize, okay? I have space here. So AC. You show it's 48? Minus 48. So what's next? Then we do 6x squared. No. After finding AC, what do we do? Oh, we find two find factors that go into 48. Product of two numbers, that is minus 48. Yeah. And the sum, and the sum is, is okay. Eight eight. So product, um, what two numbers then? But 12 and 4, it's not yeah, minus 48. Minus minus okay, does that give you minus 48? Yeah. It does. Yeah. And does the same sum, does the same gives you, same two numbers, when you add it up, does that give minus you minus eight. 8? Yeah. It does. So where should we found our two values, haven't we? Yeah. So then what do we do? Put that into the equation. We rewrite the equation. Okay, so 0 equals to 6x squared, 6x squared minus 12x plus, plus 4x four. equals no. minus 8. We rewrite the x term with our minus 12 and 4, we just found out. Okay, that equals to 0, which I have already... Um, sorry. Okay, that equals to 0. Now what do we do? Now you pair them up to see if yeah. you can factor this. Good. So which two numbers so six and twelve. can we pair? We can choose any two pair, but be logical about this. Six and twelve x, six x squared and twelve negative twelve x and four x and minus eight. So come on then. Let's factorize those two. So six is outside. Right. So highest common factor? Six. six x. x squared and x is x. Yeah. So 6x times x is 6x squared. Minus 2 is minus 12x, so that's fine. Plus, yeah, bracket. Is highest common factor between 4 and minus 8. 4 and 8, rather. If you open that up, we get this, yeah? 4x minus 8. Good. 
Now, how do we know at this stage that we are okay? We are actually both brackets equal to the same thing. Both brackets are okay. So this is a factor. X minus two is a factor on this side, and for this term as well as for this term, isn't it? So we put x minus two as a factor, and that has been multiplied with six x and four. And that equals to zero. So we're almost there now. What's our solution? X equals two. Minus two. For this, for this to equal to zero, either this has to be zero, or this has to be zero. This this bracket has to equal to zero. Zero times whatever is zero, and whatever times zero is zero, right? So, in that case, we can say that. 2 minus 2 will be 0, so x is 2. Or, x equals 6 over 4. You sure? No. Let's, let's, let's try to do this. 6, 6x plus 4 must equal to 0, isn't it? So take away 4 both sides. So I got 6x equals to minus 4. Then what do I do? Divide by 6 both sides. So x equals to minus 4 over 6, which is minus 2 third. So minus 2 third. But you, didn't, you didn't know how you got that. It's very important you know how you get that. Another short way will be inverse of this, which will be negative 4, but over 6.